Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand Cartesian product in SQL. So, the concept of Cartesian product we have already covered, we have already learned in our primary school or uh, secondary school in sets and relationship, uh, relationships concepts. There, we have covered about Cartesian product. The same Cartesian product is used in dbms also so the the entire concepts of database management systems were developed based upon the concepts of sets and relations and this video is very 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 important to understand because the concepts that we are going to cover from this chapter from from this video are going to be a bit complex and uh, the queries that we are going to uh, write uh, from this video are totally based upon this concept of cartesian product so we suggest you to concentrate focus more on this video and try to watch this video as many times as possible until you get the clarity so please try to focus more and uh, uh, we will uh, we will try to understand this concept step by step and we will try to understand it very slowly so let's try to recap the concepts of cartesian product in sets and later we will try to understand the same concept by using uh, 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 the same concept how it is used in database management systems so this is a, a one set a set called a and this is our second set called b so whenever we apply cartesian product the cartesian product a cross b and it is also called as cross product cross product if you remember uh, if you uh, recap the knowledge of ca uh, Cartesian product, it is also called as cross product and the symbol used is this is the symbol. So uh, we have used this cross product symbol here, uh, here and whenever we do the cross product of it, what is the use of this Cartesian product is every element of A, every element of A is producted with uh, each element of B. See here, one cross product of 1 comma a so this these are called as ordered pairs so these are all these are the ordered pairs so every element of a is producted with each element of b each element of b each element of b see here one is producted with a one is producted with b similarly the next element two is producted with a so these are all the ordered pairs that we obtain after the Cartesian product of A with B. Similarly, if you take B cross A, B cross A. So what happens in the B cross A is A cross B and B cross A are not the same. If you remember the properties of uh, uh, sets, A cross B. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. So what we are going to get with B cross A is every element of B will get producted with each element of A. So here we are going to get A comma 1 and next is A comma 2 and next is A comma 3 and the next element is B. So this element is now producted with each element of A. So B comma 1 and uh, b comma 2 and b comma 3 so these this is the this is the final output of b comma b cross a and this is the output for a cross b so this is what we call it as a cartesian product okay so now coming back to the uh, database management systems and uh, in our previous classes where we have discussed about the tables as the relationship there we have seen that every relation is also called as a uh, every relation is also called as a set and each and every value of the uh, every element of the table uh, every element of the sh set should be unique uh, so these concepts we have discussed so we are having two sets two sets one is two sets in the sense two tables one is student table and the other one is departments table now the query is now based upon this query we will try to understand the query is write a query to find to find the names of the students who belong to csc department sorry who belong to csc department okay so what the query is stating we have to find the names of the students names of the students who belong to csc department department csc we know that uh, 
the department is CSE and there is a relationship between these two tables. In what way they are related here? D number and D number. So student, uh, these, these are the uh, rows of the, these are the columns of the student table, student number, which is primary, see here, all are uh, unique and student name, uh, student names and a section to which the student belongs to and the department to which the student belongs to. Okay, there is a relation, there is a relationship between this D number and D number. This is what we call it as foreign key, right? So, uh, in order to get the names of the students who belong to CSE department, CSE department is there in the department table and names of the students is there in the students table. Now, how can we get the details of the students who belong to uh, uh, department CSE? So, we have to find the department number of CSE. What is the department number of CSE? It is 1. And now we have to combine these two tables. We have to combine these two tables. And uh, uh, wherever the D number of the student, see here, wherever the D number of the student is equal to 1. And uh, from that we are going to understand that depart uh, wherever the d number is equal to 1 the student belongs to csc department here what is the number of the csc department number of the csc department is 1 so wherever the d number of student is equal to 1 see here here it is equal to 1 here it is equal to 1 and here it is equal to 1 okay so uh, these are the three rows where the d number is equal to one which means that these are the three students whose uh, who belong to department number uh, who belong to department csa and what are those names uh, what are the names of those students it is vikram akshara and ranveer these names we have to extract okay so by seeing these tables we can get it but if this uh, if these tables are uh, uh, are filled with hundreds of hundreds of data for example if the entire university data is filled in this students table and all the departments table is filled with uh, uh, with the department names in this table so then it is very impossible impossible to just by seeing the tables we have to extract the data so how that can be done is see here this is the query for this uh, solution this is the this is the solution for this question and uh, the query is select s name we have to select the s name okay we have to select the s name from which tables so the data is located in both students and department table if we combine these two then only we are going to get the solution so we have what what are the tables that we have to combine from student comma departments so far in our previous examples we have covered all the basic concepts of sql in our previous videos there we have used only one table from now on we are going to combine multiple tables so that is that is very important to understand so we have to combine students and departments okay so this is this part whenever what the sql will do is first it will identify the from from part what are the tables that we are having in the from part it is student and departments so this is how the sql will work try to understand that concept once you know that how the uh, compiler will works then it is very easy for you to write the queries so how the SQL works it is going to combine these two tables how it is going to combine is it is going to do the Cartesian product of these two tables so how the Cartesian product is made is so we are trying to combine students and departments student comma departments is getting combined so each row of students will be producted with so every row of the students student table is producted with each row of the department table so the final table is going to be the cartesian product of student cross departments so this is how the sql works student the cross product of students and departments so this is the final product table on this the the conditions will get applied so let's see uh, what is the result of the cartesian products here one two three vikram a comma one is producted with one 
so each row each row of department so this row this row and this row so the first three rows try to consider the first three rows see here one two three vikram a one so all these three rows are having one two three vikram a one and it is so every row is producted with each row of department table so this cartesian product table is having all the columns of both the table students and departments here so these maroon color uh, val, uh, columns are from students and these green color are from departments table so the final table of the cartesian product of students and departments is going to have all the columns and each row of student table will be protected with every row see what i am trying to say the the terminology each row of student table will be protected with every row every row of the of the departments table so this is our first result of the cartesian product of this row this row with all these rows okay now next row this row so here this row is protected with all these rows try to get this point 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay similarly this row this row 2 1 2 akshara a 1 will get protected with all these rows all these rows of a department table similarly all uh, finally all the rows this row will also get cartesian product and this row will also get cartesian producted with each and every row of this uh, department tables and this is the final result of the cartesian product of students and departments now on this final table so on this final table these conditions will get applied so how i have written these conditions d number is equal to d number see here so let's try to bring it down where so that is going to be uh, that looks simple okay so now where condition is uh, this is the where condition d number is equal to d number so what is this d number d n o and this d number i have written this condition why i have written this condition is these two tables are related based upon this uh, uh, two columns where d number is equal to uh, d n o of student table is equal to d number of departments table so whenever this condition is true with that what we are going to get uh, all the uh, from this combination of all these values we are going to get uh, the students uh, from this uh, cartesian product we are going to uh, get the department to which the students belongs to so uh, from this so let's try to understand it very simply so because this is the very important concept to understand so try to focus more on this so if you take these first three combinations first three rows this is the cartesian product of this result is going to be the cartesian product of this row with all these rows with this what we are going to get these whenever uh, so any one of this d number will be equal to one of these uh, values so this d number will be equal to any one of these values because there is a relationship this is the foreign key and references this d number okay so now with that what we are going to get uh, we are going to get the department numbers where these two are equal to where these two are equal to so in this case this is going to be true because d number is equal to d number and in this case this is equal to this is e, this d number is equal to d number see here 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 the d number of the second student ragu is 2 so it is going to equal so this 2 is going to be equal to only to this department number 2 it is not going to be equal to 1 or it is not going to be equal to 3 it is going to be equal to only to 2 try to understand this point so these two will also be equal okay and in this case in this akshara's case akshara student akshara case which one is going to be equal one is equal to one okay and in the jitya's case three is equal to three 
so with these conditions these rows will get picked and the other condition is d name is equal to sss uh, csc here and is used we have discussed about this and if this is true and this is true then only that row has to be picked see here this is true for these two and is it equal to c name csc d name see here d name of department so d name is it equal to csc yes it is equal to csc which states that the department csc's number is 1 comma 1 department csc's number is 1 comma 1 try to understand that point okay so this row will be this row will be picked out this row will be picked out and next is it equal to 2 no are these two equal to uh, are these two equal no is it equal to csc no so this row will not be picked this row will not will also not be picked so is these two equal no so and is it equal to csc yes but this is not equal as we are using uncondition uncondition means both should be true so these two are not equal and this is equal to csc so this is false and this is true so this will also not get picked similarly is it equal to uh, are these two equal yes they are equal and next is ec is it is the department name equal to csc no it is equal to ec so this row will also not be picked try to understand that point again these two no again these two are equal and the d name is equal to csc so this row will also get picked see here and next not equal not equal not equal so check both the conditions not equal okay this is also not equal this is equal this is equal but these two are not equal to so this these two are also not equal to not equal to these two are equal but this is not equal to csc try to understand that point so this is how the sql will work row by row row by row see here these two are equal and this is equal to csc so this row will also get picked try to understand that this row will also get picked so is it equal no it is not equal so this will not get picked so this is equal no this is not equal to so the three rows that got picked is this is the row this is the row and this is the row okay now cartesian product of these two has been done and the conditions has been applied with these conditions we got these three rows now we are going to identify the s name so all the rows all the columns will get picked all the columns will get picked so what happens in the final output is after these two got executed so let's try to understand this this one will get picked okay so this row will be picked okay and next this row will get picked this row got picked and the next one is this row got picked okay so uh, combine these two okay so i'll put it here okay so these are the three rows that got picked okay so this is the result of this is the result of uh, cartesian product of these two and next one is uh, these conditions so with these conditions all these rows got picked okay and from this table we have to identify s name try to understand this point so row wise we have divided row wise we have divided okay okay so this is getting clumsy okay so from this we have to find the s name what is the s name the s names are the s names are see here these are the s names that we are going to pick see here the second column is s name these values are to be picked from this this is the s name column now this is the column that we are going to identify from all these columns the columns are s number s name section d number d number uh, uh, d number d and o d number and d name from all these columns we have to find only these we have to pick only these values so the output is going to be vikram akshara and ranveer these are the three students who belong to csc department 
so this is how the sql queries will work for example in the from condition in the from we are, if we are having three tables all the three tables will get cartesian producted try to get that point okay so this is how uh, the cartesian product is going to be helpful in sql uh, hope you got the clarity on this concept uh, anyway so we will try to we will try to execute this on our tables so these are the two tables these are the two tables student table and department table the same query so let's see what is the output is going to be vikram Ash akshara and ranveer these are the three students who belong to csc department okay so this is all about a cartesian product in sql hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching